Soha Musa, I'm the head of promotions and abroad exhibitions at the Qatar Tourism Authority, the state of Qatar. And uh, thank you for having me uh, with you today. Okay, well thanks for sparing the time to talk to Breaking Travel News. Um, I believe you were successful at the World Travel Awards last night. Yeah, actually it was a lovely evening and we actually won, Qatar won the uh, Middle East Best uh, Business Leading Destination. Um, and, um, and actually it goes very well with the strategy of the, of the Qatar Tourism Board because we want to uh, position Qatar as an ideal uh, MICE destination and business destination and a high level and um, um, destination and not a mass tourism destination. So it goes well with our vision and strategy and um, also I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the uh, winners from, uh, from last uh, evening. Um, we had a couple of hotels in, in Qatar and a tour operator also that they won awards and congratulations also for all the neighboring countries. Um, with the MICE destination, is that just for the Middle East or is that uh, on a global scale? What? This is on a global scale. This is actually our business, our vision and strategy uh, for the, uh, as a tourism board, as a state of Qatar, abroad and regionally and internationally. Uh, we focused on Qatar uh, to attract uh, the high level and travelers and the niche market rather than the mass tourism. Okay. And we focused on different tourism pillars such as business, uh, leisure, sports, education and culture. Um, and the leisure is basically the upscale leisure. So um, we have launched recently our campaign, which is a 48 hours in Qatar, which basically um, a focus on increasing the stopovers, uh, people flying between east and west on Qatar Airways to stop over in Qatar for 48 hours, and actually works on having the business travelers amend their stay and bring their partners and enjoy an additional 48 hours in Qatar and see what it offers. Um, how does the um, how does the FIFA World Cup fit with that? Um, awarded last November for the 2022 competition, um, very exciting time. Does that uh, how does that fit with your overall strategy? We are still very happy. Actually, um, it's very good to have it uh, to have the 2022 in Qatar and the first time in the Middle East. And uh, we want to showcase really the people what a, a small country of the Middle East can do. Um, the preparations, of course, we have a lot of things to do. Um, the committee hasn't been um, um, recently. We're gonna just have a committee to organize the the 2022 FIFA. Um, of course, lots of infrastructure as are going on in terms of uh, hotels and stadiums, etc. At the moment, we have 100 hotels under construction. Um, by 2013, we should have uh, 29,000 rooms, and by 2022, we should reach 90,000 rooms. Um, so we have already an infrastructure. Before the before we win the bid, we had um, uh, this plan of building hotels. Uh, the 29,000 rooms was part of a tourism strategy. Uh, with winning the 2022, we have to increase this by 90,000 rooms for the 2022. So it hasn't come out of the blue, it's part of a longer term it's a, it's development. A part of a longer term, yes, a development, exactly. Okay, well we'll check back next year, see how it's going. Thank you for talking to us, thank yeah. you very much.